Will it be a Sunderland wonderland for Aston Villa? A 1-0 win there last season thanks to a Gabby Bomb the Hall goal. A brace of victories over West Brom has put Tim Sherwood and his team in the perfect frame of mind. All thoughts of a Wembley semi-final must be put on hold for now with vital Premier League points to play for. The Black Cats lie just one point and one place higher in the standings and two Englishmen, Froggy, Jack and Jermaine, have caught your eye. Yeah, um, Jack Rodwell, um, again, career stalled badly, you know, when he got his big money move from Everton uh, and he was a terrific player when he was Everton. Um, looked like he was going to go on to be a, a top England international. Again, we, we see it so many with our top players, don't we? Where they go to a big club and they, they bench warm for three seasons. He did have injury problems as well. But it's his opportunity now to get back in the Premier League, play some regular football. But he's 23, he's a baby. Mm. You know, his Premier League, he's got like 10 years at least of a Premier League career ahead of him. And obviously this man. I mean, we all know the quality that he possesses. We've seen it ourselves at Villa Park many, many times. Natural goal scorer, predator, one of the best the Premier League's ever produced. Struggling a little bit, you know, he's not finding the goals. I mean, every club he's been at, he's always scored on his debut. Not this time. But he's playing in the team that's only won four games all season. They create very little. At the stadium alike, they struggle as well, you know. And, and I think he's the sort of player that feeds off lots of chances. He needs lots of chances, but he'll always score your goals. I think it, he's going to have to be a lot better in front of goal because he's going to be given so few chances. Yeah, he might get one a game. He's going to have to take it. Whereas at Tottenham and all the other clubs he's been used to, he might have had eight or nine a game and bagged a brace or maybe even a hat-trick. So he's somebody we have to concentrate on for the entire 90 minutes. It won't be a physical game for our central defenders. It'll be a game of chess and a game of you know being quick of mind and quick of foot because he, he is quite sharp around the penalty area. Yeah, he can be lethal. The key is restrict the supply line and then focus on your own attacking endeavour because there's plenty of that. Villa have started scoring goals again. The belief, the confidence is there, yeah. but the away form has, has got to improve. We talked about making Villa Park a fortress and that's fine, that's all very well. Won the two home games with, with West Brom, but on the, on the travels, you need to start picking up points. Yeah, I mean, on the back of just one of the best weeks ever, mm. I mean, beating the Albion twice in a week, it was just brilliant for all the supporters and you know the atmosphere was amazing at both games. So. I think everybody will be looking now for the team to kick on. FA Cup semi-final to look forward to. This is a six-pointer, proper six-pointer, because if we beat these, we leapfrog above them. And also, you look at their team going into the weekend. Adam Johnson's missing. I think he's their best player, mm. or their, their most creative player. He's missing. Catamol, the midfield general who protects that very, very weak defence, he's missing. So you'd be looking at their team thinking, actually, we, we, could, we could win this if we're at the top of our game. And it's the first game we've gone away from home where actually the boys have got to be confident to have beaten your local rivals twice. They can't go up there now and waste the two good performances. They mm. have to kick on now. You know, and a, a win against these will alleviate the pressure, you know, because as we saw last week, all the teams at the bottom of the table, they're all losing their game still, and that's probably going to continue to happen. We need to start edging away. And it'd be lovely that if we could go to our, our semi-final. Yeah with a bit of breathing space, with a nice little gap, knowing actually we can go and enjoy the semi-final and Tim doesn't have to pick a team to protect the Premier League status. Mm. We can go there and give, whether it's Liverpool or Blackburn, a really good game. Hot stuff. Remember Mother's Day, by the way, on Sunday. Thank you. you won't forget, would you? <laughs> <laughs> Much more analysis over on AVTV. Let's hope it's a stadium of delight for us once again.